forgot to change all of these to the right things. Oops. It's okay. It just takes a second. Set that to that. Set that to that. And that should be good. There we go. Oh, we'll play more data state. I'm gonna get these runs in. I'm gonna clear out some of this shit. <laughs> I wanna earn those coins. Alright, let's mumba. Let's mumba. We should still have all of our curses active, I think. Yeah, okay. We're starting up full curse. Full curse mumba. Oh, we start off with Gun Nut? Oh, shit, this run's gonna suck. All right, we actually gotta use, well. Okay, here's the nice thing about Gun Nut, right? We are going to have a lot of money. So hopefully we can use that money. Also, shops are gonna be very important now. Like, shops are going to be super important. So, um, we have the pumpkin, right? Uh, Friday Night Pumpkin, which every fourth shot, consecutive shot deals, um, damage? Damage boost? And gun nut means that item chests will now contain weapons instead. So item chests no longer are going to give us... They're no longer going to give us items. Um, so... Which is why we normally avoid that item, because I just, I like getting items a lot. This means that we can either use the guns we find, which is a good idea, or we can break them for money, which is also a good idea. I'm going to break them, at least this early on, um, because I want as much investment into things as I can. Into stats like damage and health. Okay, two health pots. Uh, what's this one here do? Okay, cool. So now we have three health, which makes me feel a lot more comfortable. Um, we need to heal still, but we ain't quite done yet. But we still have other ways of getting items. So we're not like completely out of items right from the beginning, which would suck. Wow, that heart really is just in the spikes. Um. But it is a little harder. Uh, we need to find some hearts, please. Okay, cool. There's one. Here's Cordelia. What do you got for me? Blood Vile, Gorier Kills, Dummy, Distracts Enemies, Ancient Tome, Bosses Spawn with Lower Health. Um, none of those are quite that great at the moment, but I do appreciate them. Thank you, thank you. Stethoscope. Okay, seeing enemies' health. It's nice. It's not, like, essential or anything, but it is nice. I, I would, I do appreciate it. No. Hell yeah. Okay, now we can see enemy health bars, which can be useful. I think that's the whole floor cleared out. I would rather not fight Chunk yet, just because we don't really have anything to help us against him. So let's buy the damage upgrade and move forward. Alright, Chunk is here. Chunk is here. 
Two damage upgrades, 350. Let's see how much money we have after the boss. This is an all right start. I think we're doing all right. Damn it. 200, that's not enough for any upgrades. So we'll keep moving. We will keep a moving and a grooving. Here we go. No. You stop that. Bonzo. Blessings don't need any. Don't need any blessings. I will happily take some curses though. Although we already have all the curses for this character, so I guess maybe not. We need the cultist shop, that's what we need to find. I heard that sound and I thought I took damage, I was like, fuck! No, we're good. There we go, god damn it, gnome. God damn it. Fucking bouncing boy. Bouncing baby boy. Okay, there we go. Ulta shop, come on, give us something good. Chocolate bunny. A uh, jump height. Ooh, like the least useful of the bunnies. Let's go up increases our accuracy, right? No, bullets shoot farther. Okay, that's okay. Oh. Okay, we got some health. We have a gun. I'm gonna break it because I want the money. Speaking of guns, I want to break for money. I'm being a little picky about what guns I would probably take, honestly. Wait a second. Speaking of money. Mutagen! Okay, mutagen's alright. Boost damage, but makes some enemies tougher. That's good. We like a damage boost. It's a pretty good damage boost, too. Oh, laser gun's pretty good. But money. Laser gun is a good one though. Laser gun is definitely one worth taking if you want like a good weapon. Slime, okay, that was worth it. Increasing our fire rate is very important with this gun. Alright, let's get moving. We have no money. Shit. I backed out of it right into it. Alright, cool. We're good. Oh, we've been sitting on one HP for a while, though. Makes me nervous. It does make me nervous. Challenge rooms can net you some nice rewards, that's true. They sure can. Let 
Nah. Stop with the... Stop with the flood. Or not the flood. Stop with the projectiles and the bouncing fish. Stop with all of this. Stop with the nonsense. Mm. I want some health before I do that. Which apparently does not want to happen. We have not earned our health yet, I guess. Okay. Oh, this this thing could be a pro- Oh wait, no, because this area is flooded, they're very slow. But actually, that's okay. Our accuracy is atrocious right now. He man, this fucking blessing store is just surrounded on all edges. Oh, I forgot they do that. I panicked whenever I saw an attack and I couldn't think of which direction to run. Fuck. And that run was started too. Damn. No, I want to get one of these cursed mumba runs in. I want to do it. And right, what do we get? Enemies mark for death start of every room. Chance to stun enemies um, when you set them on fire. Oh, and set them on fire. I'm okay with that. These are okay items. I think the best starting things would probably just be like health boosts, honestly. <laughs> that are like damage boosts, just stat boosts. Or money. I guess money boosts are good. Okay, well, we go again. <laughs> We go again. Uh, item refresher. Real contents of an item chest. That's pretty good. Gas mask. Someone usually just talks to gas on, gas on death. Okay. Okay. Interesting. These are cool. These are interesting items. I'm down. Uh... I want money. Okay, here's the boss key. Speaking of item room, what are we getting? Increases damage for machine guns. No. Ancient tome, bosses spawn with lower health. Okay, sure. I'll take that. See, we getting stuff that's worth it. Uh. Uh. Ooh, damage increase. Yes, slightly increases damage. Noise. Hell yeah. Uh. Bordelia, what do you got for me? The needle, don't like the needle. Diet pills, briefly move a lot faster when you enter a room. Interesting. And fake poo, hee hee. Hee hee poo poo. Uh, we're good. Thank you though. Much appreciated, ma'am. Much appreciate. Oh, 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 oh. One of each. Error. Is that error? I don't remember which one this is. I want the money. OK. 
Okay. We got good wave clear. Well, give us that. We got some pretty good wave clear. Yeah, error. Okay. I don't really care about error. It does make me less want to use uh, secondary weapons. But we break them usually anyways. Damn it. All these things are good at getting sneaky hits in. Sneaky little hits. Vacuum cleaner go work. Yes. That's what I want. We do have 601 money now. Chunks is on the loose. I don't really feel comfortable fighting him yet. Oh, damn, we're so close to the next damage upgrade. Oh shit, he's here. Can we fight him? I don't know, maybe we'll maybe we should try. Maybe we should try. Fuck. I'm having instant regrets. He's strong. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that coming. Damn. That was so bad. That was so bad. <laughs> Alright, let's change something. Let's go in as... Um... Let's do a Lydia run. I don't have any costumes unlocked for Lydia. I don't have anything for Lydia. <laughs> I don't play her enough. We have no curses for her, but we can use this as a chance to unlock them. Let's go for one of these. Just to mix it up, that way we're not doing like just strictly losing Mumbo. Okay. She light people on fire. Shit. She's not good at breaking jars. Who would have guessed? Uh, breaking weapons with her is actually pretty good though because you get rewards for every certain amount of money you earn so breaking guns giving you some cash helps you get there faster so we'll actually probably buy stuff from gun shops just to break it but we'll probably still buy stuff from gun shops because that does get us to uh free items well not free items but it gets us to items i'm not gonna question this i'm not gonna question this effective who needs who needs any more questions other than it's effective now this is definitely a character where we're not going to be fighting chunks like right away we are not built chunks tough no There we go. That's how you do it. We don't clear rooms well. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna get through there. 
Oh, but that's a really good item. We need to go for it. Damn it. I knew that was a bad idea, and I went for it anyways. I just couldn't think of, like, an alternate route in time. Oh, hell yeah, we got it. And our reward for getting money uh, is the needle. Ugh. When we get hurt, enemies take damage, but we take double. I probably shouldn't have picked that up. The double damage is actually kind of bad. Oh, well. Already picked it up. Damn it! Enemies always dropping their shit on the place. Penetrating eye? No. Doctor's office on every main floor. Eh. Eh. We don't need any of those. Penetrating eye is pretty good, but... We're gonna go for damage for now. Oh, we reached it! Holy hell. All right, we gotta hurry, though. This character literally bleeds money, like, constantly. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't touch me. Okay. Is somewhere, and I don't want to fight him. Uh, edible bullets, hell yeah. Edible bullets is good. Chunks is here, fuck. He found us. Now we do five damage per pepper spray. <laughs> yeah, this is... Our damage is so low starting off with her. We can work with it, though. We can work with it. Shit. Great start. Why am I messing this up so much? You know, we just lost to the Queen Infestor. This is such an easy boss. <sighs> Ugh. This is bad. We're doing bad today. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Where we don't do good. Ow, fuck. God damn. Stop that. Oh, yeah. Shit. What are we getting? Right, so I'm damage for three seconds after entering your room. All right, that's all right. I'll take that. Takes us up to five after entering the room. Five is better than four, though. Speaking of damage, six. The six is actually a lot better. That's still not great, but it's no mumba. It's 
syringe gun shoots poisonous needles. No, 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 no. Fire. Fire from the pepper spray. Burn them. Burn them all. We good? Is that sugar? I think I just saw sugar in there. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not picking up the sugar. No, 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 no. Shit. Nah. Oh, ghost bullets. Candy cane and sugar. No, 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 no sugar this early. Way too early in the run for sugar. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There we go. Money, nothing. Nothing. Hey, Cordelia's over here, which is exciting. Love her. Come on, break it. There we go. Hello there. Peanut butter bunny increases her maximum health. Sure. No. No chaos token. Chaos token is for gamers who are epic. I am not epic enough for chaos token. Eggy. For those who are more epic than I. For I am unfortunate enough to not be epic enough. Ow. Where did I get the money from? No, 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 no. We are not strong enough to fight chunks. Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. We're good. We're good on that. How about no? How about no? Ah. Sippy. Oh, where's my WASD? Oh, my fingers were on the wrong keys. That was terrifying. I was taking a big sippy of water. Voss spawned fast. Come on, keep the damage going. There we go, that's how you do it. Um, we could afford to go to the... to the store again, but I don't know what we're gonna, I don't know how much money we're gonna make on the next floor. <clears throat> and I don't wanna put herself too close to taking um, damage from our uh, cash bleed. All right, $11, that's good. Ow, you fucker. All right, a gun to break, hell yeah. Gun nut. I trust will contain guns and inste weapons instead. Why does this game really want us to get gun nut? That is more money. We'll try it. Let's try a gun nut on Lydia. Although it's just us getting rid of items for the sake of getting more items. So I guess this is actually not great, but whatever. It's too late, we already picked it up. Oh, I don't know, why did it, fuck did I, 
Pick up gun nut. That was dumb. I don't like gun nut. I like... I like breaking my weapons for money. Shit. Nice. Grab the key. Laser cannon. Fucking gnomes. Stop bouncing around. You're wasting time, which means you're wasting money. If you're wasting money, that makes me sick. Oh shit, I thought you were dead. I thought you were a dead man. They were Harold Deadman. Ooh, cultist shop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we need money fast. Ancient home, lower boss HP, fake puke, shotguns are stronger. A yellow fedora has something to do with gun shops appearing more, I think. Gold ring, I don't know what that does. Uh, complete negate damage when it from has been attacked sometimes. Okay, cool. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. We need money fast. Oh, we need quick cash. Oh. Okay, money. Cool, 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 cool. Finish the floor. We have $65 to do this boss fight on and one HP. Fuck. Oh God, I was stupid. It's just habit. It's just habit. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, we're good. Okay, we got cash. We got cash in our pocket. That was close. That was close. Ooh, that was scary. Ooh, that was terrifying. Okay, I would like some healing, please. Like, actual health healing. Fuck! Oh, we're about to get a reward. Uh, sorcery for dummies. We can find and use magical stats. Sure, why not? Alright, we're getting only nickels, but every nickel counts. Every nickel count. Why did they both spawn right next to each other? They spawn right next to each other next to the entrance. It was useless teleporters in the game. Fuck. Give me health. Damn it. Yeah, I saw that coming. I was like, this room is gonna fuck me over. Damn it. Oh, we're doing bad today. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened? When did we get bad? That's my secret cap. I'm always bad. <laughs> That's true. How you doing, Shadow Mage? Welcome, welcome. Oh man, this is a this has been a bad run. We've been doing. Oh, thank you, Pinata. Thank you. 
Thank you for dropping that one health onto the spike pit of doom. Well, if you're gonna hang out up there, I'm gonna break these jars. Because it takes me a second. Walkie talkie's not bad. I'm doing pretty good. I am exhausted, but that's fine, because I'm always exhausted. I'm enjoying myself some Dead Estate. I need to figure out what I want to play soon. Um, because we still have, like, forever until... Actually, I think I know what I want to play soon. There's been a game... I don't know why I'm being secret about it. I want to play Puyo Puyo Tetris uh, 1. Because we played Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 a while ago. Honestly, we could play 2 again, honest. I don't think anyone would care if we replayed the story there. Anyone who was here for it, like, probably has forgotten. Um, and that game's just fun. But I've been thinking about playing the story modes for Puyo Puyo Tetris again, just because they're very fun. I love those games. They're a good time. And I want to play Atelier Ryza when it comes out. I'm, I'm just like, all the games I want to play are coming out soon, and I'm like, fuck. I'm kind of overwhelmed with how many good games are coming out. Um, because I'm, I normally don't care about, like, most games coming out. Not that I, like, dismiss them as, like, bad or looking like not, they wouldn't be good or anything. It's just, like, typically the things that I'm more interested in tend to not come out as often. Um, but lately, especially this, this, or this half, this early half of the year, which it's gonna be wild. Ooh, negates the bad effects of toilet paper. That's really good. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna go for that. Okay, no, we actually have to find toilet paper now, but... But when we do find toilet paper... It won't be as... It will be like an easy choice. It'll be like, yeah, grab it. Clear it out. Oh, I love killing these guys. These are like the most satisfying enemies in the game. Ow. Don't be sneaky. Heart leeches. Ugh. We do not do so n enough damage. Liquid luck. Ooh, that's really good. I also really like liquid luck. Any chance-based item has a higher chance of, uh... Going off now. Toilet paper is a currency that you can spend in the bathroom, but you have to carry the toilet paper with you to the bathroom from other rooms, from other floors. Um, and the bad side of toilet paper is that it makes your max HP lock to two. It can't go any higher than two when you have toilet paper in your inventory. Um, once you use, once you spend it all, you can uh, you get your health back. You go back to your normal max health, but. While you're carrying it, your max HP is too. Um, but in exchange, the shop that buys the toilet paper is like really busted. Uh oh, 59 money. Um, so you can get like a lot of the, like some of the best items in the game from the bathroom shop. Uh, but toilet paper is kind of a, is a, like a pretty rare item. We usually see it at least once a run though. Yeah. You just get really good items if you spend it. Um,. And typically the bathroom will spawn right next, not right next to it, but like on a floor nearby where you found, oops, where you found toilet paper. But sometimes the game will crash and then you have to find it from scratch, but that's fine. I think like having it just massively increases your odds to silly levels of finding the bathroom. Then it was the damage for three seconds after entering a room. All right, that's good. Our character struggles with damage. Um, Dragon's Mouth, Burn Baby Burn. I'm breaking it for money. So, the character we're playing as, by the way, because we don't play her very often, um, she has Pepper Spray as her default weapon, uh, which burns things, but it has a high rate of fire, but, and lights things on fire, but it has, like, kind of a lower base damage than the other characters. Um, and then her passives is that she constantly bleeds money, but for every, like, $600 that you earn, she gains, like, you get a free item. It'll just drop a free item. I'll be like, yeah, here you go. So playing as her, you just want to grind as much cash as possible, which is already how I play the game. 
but she gets more benefit from it than other characters. Which is funny because that's already like what I like doing. Money's just good in this game. I don't know, man. Money's good. Oh, shit. Grab that gold coin. Grab that silver coin. Ooh. Don't let the money despawn. Ah! You burst into a man. See, there's one. There's an example of it going off. Milk Bar Lad's t-shirt. Light around is because it's much larger. That's not a great item, but I'll take it. Um, I'm going to go over here to spend some money real quick. I'm going to increase our damage. Our strength stat. Oh god, we're to 48 money now. Ah, it's always stressful every time we go down here. Once she hits zero cash. Uh, no, 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 no. No, I'm not fighting you right now, Chunks. When she hits zero cash, though, she does just start taking damage. So it's very important that you try to have, like, a good amount of money on hand as her. Otherwise, you're putting yourself in danger. Like I just did. In exchange for a damage boost. But like I said, her base damage is pretty low, so I want to try and get rid of that fast. Because she had that effect. Oh, yeah, we've lost runs to that effect. Oh, we killed a gold leech. There was a gold leech hiding in that pot. We're good. That gave us a ton of cash. It's just a random chance that gold leeches can appear in pots, but if you break them, it's worth a lot of money. <sighs> this floor, like, really likes to stall for time, though. It's like, a lot of the enemies here are hard to hit. Specifically gnomes. But yeah, you can die to that, so it's... It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> money is pretty easy to get in this game, but... It, it has happened, where I've been too greedy. And been punished for it. But once the run is properly going, you'll probably clear rooms really fast, so you'll be getting, like, money pretty easy. Fuck off, I hate this room. This is, like, the hardest room formation for me. <laughs> Ooh, rad hammer. I'm gonna break it. Just breaking weapons gives you cash, and the more full, more full ammunition they have, the more cash they give you. So I like doing that. Even on like normal runs, as anyone else, I always break guns. <laughs> I will suffer with my shitty pepper spray if it means that I get more money. I'm so greedy in this game. <laughs> I'm greedy in most games, but like definitely in this one. Ooh, we hit it. A dumbbell. Chance, fire, uh, chance to fire a large heavier projectile. All right, that's going to happen more often because we do have the liquid luck. Cultist shop. All right, let's spend all of our money and put ourselves in danger again. Yellow Fedora, so gun shops are going to be more likely, and Aces, Aces, which increases damage for all weapons. Quilt Shop uh, is very cheap items, but we don't know what they are until we buy them. Yeah, Weapon Merchant can now appear on every floor. That's actually really good for us, because now we have something else to spend our money on. Because we can buy guns to break guns, and then when you break the gun that you buy, you get a little bit of your money back. So we can use that to help us get items. Let's grab this item chest down here. Um, I could afford to buy more items from the cultist, but I'm gonna wait till we have a bit more cash. This location has secret rooms on the map. That's pretty good, too. So now I can be a little bit more, like, passive when I'm looking at the map. As long as we can get this going quickly. Yeah. What's the cheapest thing we haven't bought from her? 50? I'll buy the 50. Bust a file. Larger explosions. Okay, cool. I'm okay with larger explosions. Um, I don't want to spend the 200 on the last item that she's carrying. I don't know what it is, uh, but clearly when we have 218 money, that's probably not the best idea. <laughs> right before the pump gourd. Pump king. Royal gourd.
Uh. Okay, cool. I think we got this. I think we got it. Uh, Mikey's. Alright, uh, we're gonna take a risk. Chunks is on the loose. We're not strong enough to fight him. Um, but I do want to buy that item. But what if it's really good? Oh, we're going back for it. <laughs> we're going back for it. I love buying out the cultist shop. I don't know why. Glass eye. Um, okay, this isn't the scary one. Shots home in on enemies. This is actually pretty nice. I actually like this item a lot. This is a pretty good one. Um, okay, Chunks is here. We got a blast. Thankfully, he doesn't chase you into the boss room. It was actually really good, though. <laughs> I'm glad we went back for that, because that's a really good item. It's a lot better on, like, shotguns and stuff, but it's still good on this. Just, like, having that little boost of accuracy. Always nice. Especially if we find things like the uh, Itchy Finger, which triples our shots, basically turns every gun we have, and every weapon in the game, into a shotgun. Um, that makes it nice, because the spread closes in and all shots are more likely to hit which is good big mouth gold pot love it uh what is this vampire charm chance to regenerate health on kill i like this weapon this is actually really good too because liquid luck so it's a chance item which means it's more likely to happen I don't know how much liquid luck increases the chances, but it is it does increase them, which is nice. Down here is the blessing store. We do not have very much chunks medallions, so I don't really want to shop there. Ramen. I'll do this for the money, but I don't really care about the ramen. Ramen are probably some of the worst items in the game for me, honestly. Uh, all the ramen, different flavors of ramen in this, they give you a stat boost, different stat boosts based on like how much money you have. Um, so if you have less than $100, they give you bonuses. Um, we almost never have less than $100 for long though. Like even, even this early on when we do spend a lot of money and we run out. Oh, uh, we're not going to clear it in time. Oh, we did! Damn, Porcupine Needle. Taking damage from an enemy marks them for death, so they take more damage. Sure, I don't like taking damage, but that will happen. Yeah, chance to block incoming damage when you have less than $100. Less than a hundo. Uh, it's it's just really easy. It's easy to get down to less than a hundo, but like it's, it's like even easier to just go above. Ow, fuck off, random heart leech hiding in a pot. We're down to one HP, dear god. Okay, heart. Thank god. Can we get some, like, healing? Thank you. I don't like sitting this low. Yeah. Liquid luck is- a, I love liquid luck. Um, what's really fun is if you can get multiple. Which, there are ways to get multiple. Um, to just, like, increase your chances to pretty much guarantee stuff. Which is very fun. Once the run gets, like, properly going, we tend to snowball items and just gain, like, a shit ton. Usually, by the time we finish runs, we can't see the, what the item's effects are for anything we do, because it wraps around the bottom of the screen so far we can't read them anymore. <laughs> um... But that's usually because I'm really greedy, and I tend to loop a lot. Because <laughs> you can loop runs once you reach the top floor in the balcony. Uh, you have the option to jump to the bottom and just go around again. <laughs> okay, so here's something fun you can do with this character. Um, because you get these rewards for how much uh, money you have, you can buy- Oh, diamond shot. Okay. Never mind. Killing enemies with a diamond shotgun gives us money. Never mind. I was gonna buy a gun and break it, but 
This weapon is legit, like... This is legit, like, a really good weapon. <laughs> Killing enemies makes them explode into cash. Um, we'll do it after we get some, uh, kills in with this thing. Oh! Glory box. Uh, treasure rooms contain another item chest. Oh, I love that. Okay. Cool. This is actually, that is incredible. We need to check the gun store more often for these, honestly. Yes! They do have limited ammo, so I'm trying, I'm going to try and be safe. Rusty nail. Weapons do more damage and knock enemies farther back. Chunks is here. Fuck. Okay, he won't chase us into shops. Shops are a safe space. VIP pass. Uh, guarantee shops will appear. Unrelenting greed. <laughs> it's a good weapon on top of that. Enemies release a barrage of uh, projectiles on enemies upon death. I like that. Breeze pause. Nightcore everything. Nah, we don't need Nightcore. Nightcore literally just Nightcores everything. <laughs> It is purely aesthetic, which is very funny. <laughs> Secret room. We just have to keep an eye on the thumping, because if Chunks appears, we gotta get out of here. I'm, pro I'm probably not gonna challenge Chunks for quite a bit. Yep, he's here. Grab the key. Hey, juke him. Go around. Lose them in the item shop. Okay, cool. And then let's get moving. Let's get out of here before he shows up again. Gun store. Okay, so now that we have cash. No, we only have one inventory slot with this character. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna buy a gun, break it. Um, buy a gun, break it. Uh, for just a quick burst of cash, but ow! Yeah, that's not very good right now, because I don't want to lose our diamond shotgun. Alright, we made it to the boss. If you take too long on a floor, Chunks comes after you. You can knock him out! If, you, if you're strong enough, you can knock him out and you get a reward for it, but... We are not strong enough. Lydia's like the only character that I don't feel pretty confident doing early on. Oh, Leviathan Egg. Ooh. Just because her DPS is kind of low. It's consistent though, which is nice. But Chunk is, Chunk is dangerous. <laughs> Does this work on these guys? It does not. But it did give us 50 ammo. I picked it up with the wrong gun. Fuck. Okay. Uh, next floor. Oh, this game's fun. I just like this game a lot. <laughs> this game's just really fun. <laughs> this is my favorite roguelike. Like, I haven't played, like, as many as most people have, but out of the ones I have played, this is my favorite. I don't know. It just, it's a game that openly invites you to break it. And I appreciate that. I just want to pick up all this money. Uh, what is stethoscope? Okay, stethoscope lets us see enemy health bars. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you, ghost nerd. No, no more. Get out of here. There's a cultist shop right here. Soap bar increases. Okay, so what we got here? Tank man doll. Weapon rooms contain two chests instead of one. That's good. Um, the peanut butter bunny increases our maximum health, which is nice. Soap bar move faster, but we're more slippery. And lucky dice increases the chance that cultist shops appear, which we love the cultist shop because cheap items. Mm. We're good. We'll just break these pots and be on our way. Oh, 
That's the end of the, the diamond shotgun. Never forget he rest in spaghetti. Ooh, UFO buddy that attacks enemies using its tractor beam. That actually could make Chunks a joke. Um, it actually might be worth fighting Chunks now. Tractor beam is really that good against them because the constant damage slows them down. An elevator to, I think that's the bank. We'll take it for the money. There's a, uh, the bank usually spawns like several money pots. The gold ones, which give us a lot of cash. Yeah, see, UFO is actually pretty dope. I love UFO. It's probably the best of the buddies. I like all the buddies, but UFO, UFO kind of rules. UFO owns. Yeah, the slowdown that it causes from just attacking so many times. Sledgehammer just destroys all pots in a room once it's cleared. That's nice. That's just a nice little convenience. Because this character breaks pots very slowly because she's not strong. Poison apple. Break it for money. Broadsword. Break it for money. Boom. No, back off. The dang ghost. Another blessing store. I don't have any need for blessings right now. Oh, the UFO is attacking the ghost that tried running away. Drop the pot. <laughs> Drop the pot. There we go. Oh shit, what the fuck? Where'd that burst of speed come from? Break it. Break it. Good old sledgehammer. Alright, what are we getting? Chicken ramen? Eh. Blood money. Taking damage gives us money. Yes! More money. I'm going to take damage because I'm clumsy. Um, so it's nice to at least get some cash out of it. Get rewarded for my stupid actions. Uh, we do not have the key yet, so we can't do the boss door. Where is it? Oh, did we just like run past the key? We were in the key room. <laughs> Oops. No, we do have the key. Did I open the door? Am I just dumb? I might, I might just, I might just be dumb, chat. <laughs> All right, chunk is here. Oh, it doesn't slow him down enough. It doesn't slow him down enough. Okay, we're not fighting chunk. That's too scary. <laughs> not till I see like crazy numbers. Ow, you jerk! First time I've ever gotten hit on the switchback of the hands. On the return. All right, do your thing. Don't walk under it. Nice. No. Alright, cool. It's interesting seeing the boss's health as we do this. I don't think I've ever seen this boss's health bar. Stethoscope is interesting. I like stethoscope. It's like playing Kingdom Hearts without scan. It just feels wrong. Which I have done. I have done that. Um... Doing Kingdom Hearts 1 level 1, you never get scanned, which is a fucking nightmare. Hmm. 
press tab to expand or shrink your map. So I've been thinking. We play a lot of Atelier games. Oh, I forgot about the bank elevator. God damn it. Shoot. I should have. You're right. You are right. I just forgot. Ugh. Okay, these guys can be a bit of a pain with Lydia. Oh. Just because, like, we can't kill the heart very quickly. Because our DPS is so low. Come on. There we go. Oh, is this still alive? Did it respawn? Smash pumpkin. That was a jack o lantern buddy that attacks enemies. Why did you respawn a new one? The robots are dead. I've never seen that happen before. That's weird. Oh, shit. God damn it. Exploded into a goo. This is a weird run. Oh, hey, look, another bank elevator. I think that's a bank elevator. Okay. Oh, hey, room cleared. <laughs> that's why I like Sledgehammer. Interesting. Oh, fuck. Alright, good job. We need to focus down the heart, like, immediately. Otherwise, it's gonna stall for so much time. Oh. Okay, ammo drops become more frequent. And allows us to use, find and use magical staffs. Nice. No. Ah, no! <laughs> Alright, doctor's office. Maxed out our strength stat. Um, do we invest in health? Yeah, I think we do. Investing in max health is nice. There we go. Um, prevent chunks from showing up for an additional minute. Yeah. Get 10 plus rewards on a single round. Have I never done that? I do not play Lydia enough. <laughs> this is how you know I do not play this character enough, is I just got, like, a basic achievement with her for essentially just playing the characters. This is gonna naturally happen. No, oh, you fucker. Ah, enemies dropping from the ceiling like assholes. Stop it! Stop doing that! Uh, oh, I hate these cultists. There's too many of them. Stop hitting me! Why are you so good at that? Hi, drowsy ghost! You haven't even locked that character yet? She's fun! I do like her. I'm just surprised I haven't started playing her more often ever since I got somewhat competent at the game. I say that. I'm not good at this game. But that's fine. What's with the green crystals? Um, so the green crystals are your spawn point is one of them, like where you start the floor. And then these ones here, if you break it, it teleports you back to the starting room. So it's like a little quick little fast travel if you want to get back to the starting room. Um, I forget to use them. Or it's like, I'm still going deeper in, so I don't use them that often, but... Uh, okay, stop hovering over the items we have, please. <laughs> ah. Can I... Can I get to the heart? Thank you. Thank you. Damn it! <laughs> I hate this thing! Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we're good. Ooh, second chance. This is really good. Makes it explode upon death, and if it kills an enemy, we receive 1 HP. There we go. Ooh. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. And it did that thing where it spawns a second heart. Very interesting. No. If I knew someone was Hello, Cordelia. Trainer seat. Destroying weapons gives us more money. Yes. 
I think Trown plus two max HP. Uh, I don't need that right now. We need we need some cash at the moment. Fuck! I'm taking so much like random silly damage that could have been avoided on this floor. I don't know why. I'm doing so bad on this. <laughs> compared to some, th this is not a good run for us <laughs> compared to like the ones we've been having lately. No hearts in any of these. Ooh, hearts. Okay, cool. I feel a lot less stressed now. Grab the key. No! no freaky man. Items. Uh, rubber boot grants an extra jump. That's fine. Ooh, modding kit. Increase damage and fire rate for default weapon. Yes! Ah, shit. Chunks is here. Um, alright. Fun thing you can do with Lydia when you're at a gun shop. Buy a gun. Break it. Buy a gun. Break it, and you get enough money usually to get something cool. Handgun and rifle bullets do more damage. Well, that's not very useful. Um, I've won quite a few. Uh, not with this character. I've, I think I've only won like once with Lydia. I, mean, I don't even think I've won with Lydia yet. Um, but I've, I've won quite a few. I've gotten, I don't want to say consistent at it, but I've been able to do it. I usually go for true ending runs whenever I do do a good winning run. I do go for true ending a lot, because I can. But I don't know the, like the exact number. Is I could probably check like once we're done with the run though. We can probably look at my stats. Cause I think there's a stats screen if I remember correctly. Shit. Eat the clown. No. No. No clown. No clown. Oh. Nice. Uh, woo. Noise. Uh, is everything we want from this floor? Let's go to the bonus elevator, the bank. I think that's the bank elevator. It might not be. Whatever it is, we're going to it. Not fighting you, Chunk. I'm not strong enough to fight Chunk yet. I was. I mean, I could, but like, I'm not good enough. Fuck. Oh, we might have to, if we want to take the other elevator. We might actually have to. The game might force us. Or wait, we could go to the, um, ow. Ow. Fuck. Yeah, our DPS is not, I'm not comfortable doing this. Our DPS is not cut. Back off. Uh, I don't want to buy any of that. Actually. We can, let's buy a full heal. Why not? We're about to pick up a bunch of cash. Um, let's buy a full heal. Quick, before he shows up. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a there's a pro tip. If you don't feel like fighting chunks, run to a shop. It makes him disappear for a second. Play bonkers. But fighting him is good if you have enough damage. Because um, you can knock him out and you get money. Sometimes health, but hopefully money. Usually money. Ooh, Jester's Cap. Lowers your max HP by but also boosts our damage by 50%. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Five, five's not bad. We've been sitting on five, like, most of this game. Hi, I'm not depositing anything. I never deposit anything. I'm greedy. It's my money. <laughs> I don't care if it means that I get it later. <laughs> I'm greedy and I want my all my money on my person. It's bad advice. <laughs> A laboratory. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's ten damage. That's much better. It's still not great, but like it is. Oh. Yeah, so much better.
Friday Night Pumpkin. Another Friday Night Pumpkin. Okay. I mean, I like the pumpkin. Yeah, tax evasion be like... Goop launcher, I'm breaking it for money. A record, I'm breaking it for money. If I was smart, I'd actually use secondary weapons, but I don't. Especially as Lydia. <laughs> I'm constantly talking about how bad her, like, primary weapon is, but... Here I am, just like, refusing to use secondaries, because moolah. Okay. Spawn in the guys. Yeah, our DPS is actually pretty good now. I'm feeling pretty happy about our DPS. I see a bonus fight room. An ace of something. And a knockback increase, because I know what the bat does. Ah. Nice. Oh yeah, this is actual damage now. Whoa. Weird. Uh, increases damage from machine guns. Oh. Knock back against enemies. Smashy smashy, because sledgehammer is convenient. Meh. <laughs> No, 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 yeah, no, you gotta be greedy. Gotta be greedy with Lydia. Always get the money. All the money, all the time. Bomb rat. <laughs> Let's go bullet shoot farther, yeah. That's also nice because of the homing shots. I like getting more range on my guns. All right, clear out someone. There we go. Lydia just has, like, a really hard early game because her damage at starting off isn't very good. It makes her early game, like, kind of hard. Then again, we play Mumba, who starts with, like, 2 HP, but he has a lot of damage, so, like, at least, like, runs either get good or bad very quickly. Pepper Spray! Ooh, Mr. Friendly, squeak him. We're breaking it. <laughs> um, we could just go through the boss door, but we have a lot of this floor we need to explore still. So I'm going to explore a little bit. Ooh! Nice. Uh, error and revenge served cold. Weapons release a large explosion when they're destroyed or run out of ammo and randomizes their secondary every two seconds. Don't like error for using secondaries, but I don't use secondaries anyways. Empty room. Mr. Friendly, I know, I know, I feel bad too. Never forget he rested spaghetti. But he had money inside of him. <laughs> But he had money inside of him. You don't feel bad enough, apparently. <laughs> if we had super glue, that'd be fun. Super gluing Mr. Friendly as your only weapon. That'd be funny. Alright, understaff. Break it. Ooh, trigger finger. I like trigger finger. Uh. Oh no, this is a different one. Same with this fire rate, but it makes it so when shots are fired, you when you release the fire button. What? What does that mean? I don't think I've ever seen this item before. Oh, I hate this. Oh no. Oh god, this is this is the button that you press whenever you have fucking This is bad for your fingers. <laughs> oh no. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. 
hell is he aiming? Rebind controls. I don't want to go through that. I was thinking maybe I could uh, set up like a scroll wheel. <laughs> I do not have a programmable mouse. <laughs> I do not. I have a cheapo mouse because it is aesthetic. This is bad. This is actually really bad. <laughs> This is, this is pretty bad. I just got rid of like the biggest benefit of this weapon <laughs> is it's fire rate. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, okay, we're gonna try it. Game settings. No, 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 no. Control settings. Rebind controls. Up. Eh. Eh. WASD. Jump. Left click. Shift, tab, damn it. <laughs> it doesn't let me change scroll wheel. Wait, 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 wait. I think I, wait, maybe, maybe I can. Wait, I have an idea. W, A, S, D, base. Damn it, I can't, no, it's not registering scroll wheel. <gasps> That is, that is mean. <laughs> that is a mean item. Great. We can shoot as fast as I can click now. Ah, oh shit. This is gonna hurt my finger by the end of the run. Jesus Christ. Maybe we'll find a random token. Maybe maybe we'll find a chaos token. I actually want a chaos token now. <laughs> Pretty sure it's good for some weapons. Yeah, maybe. Like a sniper rifle. It's just gonna hurt my finger. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a really slow weapon. Like, I can see that being useful. I just don't like spamming. <laughs> I wish I had a turbo button. Can I play this with a controller? I've never tried playing this game with a controller before. Oh, I can. One second. Can I turbo button? No, my settings aren't set up on PC mode on my controller to have a turbo button. Oh shit, you can play this with a... Controller. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's totally fair. I'm gonna play it with keyboard and mouse because that's what I'm used to, but like, if I knew that when I was first starting the game, I probably would have stuck with a controller. Um, I usually prefer a controller. I just didn't do that with this game for some reason. I didn't think about it. Please help me with... We have seven dollars. What am I doing? <laughs> it's usually just my instinct to buy everything. We're gonna die. Oh shit. Okay, money. Nice. Cookie floor. Cookie floor rules. Okay, we're gonna go to cookie floor after we beat this. Beat this floor. Being Maguka is suffering, it's true. Ah. Alright. Gotta watch out for sneaky boys hiding in the water. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I love that the hand destroying spin stick. That's a classic. Oh, I wasn't jumping. I couldn't reach it. Right, I always forget these guys are like slightly off the ground, so you gotta fuck, you gotta jump to hit them. Rotten melon. Oh shit, melon's really good. Chance the chance for a melon to come flying off of our attacks. And then the melon explodes and then does like tracking shots. Shots hone in on enemies, hell yeah. Tax forms. Lose one dollar every second of combat, but gain damage proportional to our money. Sure. <laughs> Let's bleed money faster in exchange for more damage. You know what? Our damage is actually pretty good, though. That's the good news, is our damage is actually pretty good. We're doing like 20-something damage per shot, so that's good. Dog food distracts enemies upon entering. The N64 controller? It is not the best. I love the N64. That controller's not good. Oh, right, we have error, so our secondary weapon anytime we're holding it is just- Ooh, generates a little money as long as you're at 1 HP in a room with enemies. I mean, I'm gonna avoid doing that, but if we are doing that, it'll be nice to gain money. Where are we going? Okay. Hell yeah. There we go. We are playing the game. How you doing, Sargoto? We accidentally picked up an item that, like, get a load of this. Where is it? Where the fuck is that stupid finger? Here it is. The trigger finger. Significantly boosts fire rate but makes it so shots are fired when you release the fire button. You know what that means? I didn't think that through when I picked it up. <laughs> I hate this weapon. I know this weapon, I hate that item. So yeah, we're playing Trigger Finger now. We're playing Spam the Shoot button. Uh, grab the key piece and we're gonna go to the cookie floor. This is like a rapid fire weapon too, which is the annoying part, is like this weapon's normally rapid fire. So our fire rate is as fast as I can click, which is much slower than, <laughs> much slower than the gun. I say gun, it's pepper spray, but... Pepper is tasty, that's true. Um, I think we're probably not gonna do a looped run. Um... We're probably not going to go for true ending. Ambrosia, fully heals you upon it. Picking it up, sure. Um, mainly because, like, I'm not going to have time to do a whole nother loop. So we're probably just going to do, like, a regular run. Pepper. All right, what do you got, Mom? Taco bar makes us move faster. Yeah, Mama's cookies. Replaces her bullets with cookies and increases their damage. Hell yeah. Jelly bean box. Pots will contain jelly beans. Collecting four heals us. Nice. Caramel bunny increases our fire rate. Thanks. Edible bullets. Breaking a weapon does heal us now. Yeah, no looped run with that trigger finger thing. <laughs> you know, maybe it's good. <laughs> maybe it's a good idea that we don't. <laughs> even even without that. I just don't have enough time. Otherwise, I would. So we're gonna have to... Oh shit, this is the balcony? We're already at the balcony? Damn. Maybe we do loop. Oh, actually, I wanna buy curses on this character as well. Yeah, we loop. 
Never mind, we're gonna loop. I don't know if we're gonna finish the run, but we're gonna we're gonna loop it. Gun nut. Only what item chests only contain weapons. Uh no. Curve ball increases fire rate and causes projectiles to curve. Sure, let's make ourselves suffer more. Red get can brainstorm entering. I that those are words. Oh right, we have the fucking randomizer. Ugh. We're just breaking all the guns. IED causes some pots to explode on destruction. Any pocket watch, gold pots will become more common, but all pots will be erased five seconds after. Me. That's fine. Ace of spades increases damage from melee weapons. No, none of those are what we're using. IED is actually pretty good. Thank you, Cordelia. All right, to the bottom. I just remember that I wanted to buy curses. And you can only buy curses on looped runs. I only have five uh, chunk coins though. <laughs> I love that we have cookie bullets. Locks you to one HP, but doubles your fire rate and damage. No, thank you. Not, not, I, maybe if I didn't pick up, maybe if I didn't pick up the fucking on release key, shoot button. Hey, elevator. What elevator we get here? We get the basement elevator. We might actually be able to finish this run. Holy shit, we might actually be able to finish the run. We're gonna have to skip a few floors, but I think we can do it. Okay. Buy the nail gun. Break it for money. What did we get? Coupon! 25% of all shops starting at the next shop we visit. Baseball bat. There we go. This would be a good game for the stream deck. I think this definitely would. Yo, what's up? I'm here to buy curses. Curse of the Gambler. Chance for Lydia to receive two items as a cash reward. Health pickup spawn less for Lydia. Ooh, I like that. Curse of the Greedy. More coins spawn for Lydia. Lydia's wallet drains coins faster. I mean... Curse of the Extravagant. Changes Lydia's default weapon to the Flamethrower. Increases shop prices for Lydia. I only have enough for one of these. Oh... I, the flamethrower is actually really tempting. I think I'm gonna go with flamethrower. Um, this isn't going to affect us on this run. That that's for like future runs. That's the curse store that came with the new update. Um, that's basically like once we start, once we start runs, um, we can start with curses now, which have upsides and downsides, like permanent changes to the character, um, if we want to turn them on, which is very fun. We have all of the ones unlocked for Mumbo, which makes Mumbo runs. Just glass cannon, which is very fun. Uh, increases accuracy, doesn't matter. Chance for not shooting shots on a fire red, don't care about that. Satellite strike, chance for fire huge missile at a randomly selected enemy upon entering a room, don't care about that. Nice. No. No freaky baby. Ooh, laser gun. Oh shit. Actually, no, I don't want laser gun. If I if I want to use a secondary weapon, I want it to be Oh right, we have air. I keep on forgetting we have air, which randomizes it every two seconds. Confetti's good. Confetti gives has a chance of giving us a um item every time we break an item. Or break a gun. Which we break a lot of guns. And we also have liquid luck, which increases the chances of chance-based items occurring. At least our DPS is really good. <laughs> 
Oh, holy fuck, chunk. Dude. Yeah, we got a chunk medallion. We can afford the other thing now. God damn it. Makes us radioactive. That's what the glow sticks do. That was a fucking jump scare that scared the shit out of me. Why is he so fast? What the fuck happened? Alright, Curse of the Greedy. No. One thousand for rewards. It's more expensive now. What? We're still missing her final curse, though, which is a bummer. Ow. Nice. See, homing shots just are just great. Nice. Secret room. Ah, yeah, let's buy health. We don't need agility. Thank you for the follow, Drowsy Ghost. We play this game pretty often, and we'll definitely be coming back to it every time we play uh, an update, so... Let's see. Uh, we have that. I want to go to the cookie floor, though. Or no, this isn't cookie floor. This is, um... This is the elevator. Right, 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 right. Because this was the thing that made me think, like, maybe we can actually finish the run. I think this is basement. When does the boss appear? At least our damage is, like, really dumb. <laughs> to make up for the finger. Play Ugly Mumba 3. Love that game. I, I've never played Ugly Mumba 3. I think that's a real game. I think that's a game they actually made. I remember correctly. I know Mumba's from like a prior project. I think Digby is too. I don't know too much. I've only played this game by them, but I do love this game and I want to play more, more from them. Yeah, okay. This lets us choose what floor we go to. We got really lucky with what uh, secondary elevator spawned. We have our 1k in that one item. That's probably true. I mean, then we just have like a lot of things that increase damage. We've picked up quite a few items. But that's definitely a big one. That's a really good item. Okay, what do we get? Money from the secret room. <gasps> okay, so this floor has been famously our true ending run killer. Mercury Blob. Gold coins would never drop, but silver coins become worth more. Sure. The Rhetoric Staff. Breaking it. I think it's maybe just because we're on a looped run. I think every loop it probably gets more expensive or something. This floor is a nightmare. Hate this floor. Alright, where's the door? Fuck, why did I pick up the key? I don't know where we're running. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I just instinctually picked up the key. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. No. Okay, we have dog food. Dog food's helpful. Dog food distracts. Fuck. No! Secret room? That's not what I want. Why did I go to it? Why did I go to the secret room? Ow. Let me out. 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 Item room. Cool. What do we get? Hate this floor. <laughs> Damn it. Oh shit. 
Oh, why did I grab the key? Why did I grab the key so early? Oh, shit. Fuck. That was my fault. That was purely my fault. When you get to that floor, all I'm gonna say, map out the whole floor and f before you pick up the key. <laughs> and then get the f fuck out of there. <sighs> oh. It's okay though, we unlocked... Next time we play, we're going to uh, play a cursed run with Lydia, I think. Because we did unlock the curse of the greedy and we unlocked the curse of the extravagant. Yeah, that's all normal. Yeah. That floor is a fucking nightmare. Yeah, I've beaten the game with, uh, I think every character, I might not have beaten it with Digby. Um, but all the ones with the gold ring around them are the characters that I've gotten true ending with. Um, Cause I know you were asking, I also have a lot of secondary. I need to find the C costumes. This update threw in C costumes for everyone and I haven't found any yet. We did do a gnome run the other day. Gnome run is always fun, love gnome. Uh, Cordelia, Cordelia run should be fun. We haven't done a Cordelia run in a long time. I want to see what her curses are. Uh, Fuji's fun. I'm surprised I've never gotten true ending with Fuji. Fuji's like a really like easy character. Boss is fun. We haven't played boss since her update. We should play boss soon. Um, records. Time played. Okay, we've won, we've won nine games. We've lost 108, so I'm not great at this game. A lot of those wins have been recent, though, so I've gotten a lot better. This game's just fun. I don't know. This game's just really, really fun. It's a good game. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. You can look at the gallery. Look at all the concept. This is my favorite kind of unlockable in any game. <laughs> You're very good. Very good. Love Fuji. Doggy? 10 hours and 4 ones? Yeah, it's a good game. I'm not good at action games. I usually play like RPGs and stuff, turn based RPGs and shit. But this game is just fun enough to where I just keep playing it. It's a good game. A lot of sketches of mom we have unlocked. Yeah, I love this game. It's so good. And I'm excited because there's still more updates to come. I think we're halfway into the updates they have planned. Um, but we're gonna call it here because I don't know I don't have enough time for another run. That is two streams in a row. I have thrown runs in this game. Two streams of this game in a row, anyways. I have accidentally thrown runs that were in the bag. How are you? Let's raid Deer. <laughs> oh no, Deer's having fun. Deer's having fun. That's okay. You can unlock all the characters. You'll get to it. Go say hi to Deer. We love Deer. I love them a whole lot. A raid message? Sure, I don't know what to say, but I always, I never do raid messages, but yeah, you can recommend one. I can never think of any. Swim in a sea of chunky soup. Yeah, go tell go tell deer to swim in a sea of chunky soup. Tell deer to chunky soup in the sea. Have a good one, y'all. I gotta get ready for work. Buh bye bye <laughs>